hey, it's Lindley Oz, and I came across this article um, about blue-eyed caveman revealed using DNA from an ancient tooth. And they found some surprises with this particular caveman, and I'll scroll down and show you. And please forgive me, I've been off with a nasty, nasty cold. So you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm still not back to myself completely, but got to work, got to get on here and get the word out. So you'll have to uh, forgive me for the way I sound. Okay, it says the DNA threw up a series of surprises. Okay, when they looked at the genome, this guy found that rather than having light skin, the man had gene variants that tend to produce much darker skin. This guy had to be darker than any modern European, but we don't know how dark, the scientist said. Another surprise finding was that the man had blue eyes. That was unexpected, says Leluza Fox, because the mutation for blue eyes was thought to have arisen more recently than the mutations that cause lighter skin color. The results suggest that the blue eye color came first in Europe with the transition to lighter skin ongoing through Mesolithic times. On top of the scientific impact, artists might have to rethink their drawings of these people. You see a lot of reconstructions of these people hunting and gathering and they look like modern Europeans with light skin. You never see a reconstruction of a Mesolithic hunter-gatherer with dark skin and blue-eyed color. Yeah, you just don't see blue eyes and dark skin, but I have a thought for this whole thing here. And again, this is from The Guardian. For one thing, the Nephilim at the children of humans and angels. For some reason, all Nephilim have oddly colored eyes. I'm trying to move the window so you can see. Which helps them identify each other in a non-official ranking system. Eye color depends on the rank of your angelic ancestor. Brilliantly blue eyes means an archangel. Luminescent green eyes means a member of a host and so forth. Okay, now I'll check this out over here. This is from the Book of Enoch, and I've made videos before and written articles that I believe that these um, ancient cavemen they're finding, and I've showed exactly why I believe that in, in detail, and a lot of people who believe in Nephilim, um, because we know the Bible and what it says and do our studying, um, also believe that cavemen were Nephilim. And they did find out new and new research and in studies, the scientists have found out that what they're calling cavemen actually lived alongside the humans. They used to think the cavemen were ancient humans, but now they've discovered that cavemen were a separate species living alongside humans and that they also sometimes ate the humans and terrorized them just like the Nephilim. So here's something. Here's some names of angels from the book of Enoch, okay? And I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It looks like Nakir. The Nakir was a black-skinned and blue-eyed angel of judgment. So is it possible then that what they have found is a black-skinned, blue-eyed angel of judgment, a Nakir? I mean, scientists are literally blown away by this. They don't know what to think. They have found a dark-skinned, blue-eyed caveman um, species. You know, they, they don't know what to think about it, but they can't deny it because this DNA from this tooth is proving it. It says, genome sequence of 7,000-year-old human remains overturns popular image of light-skinned European hunter-gatherers. Well, that's because these people, like I said, lived alongside humans as they have discovered. Not only did they live alongside the humans, but they were Nephilim. So, um... Do a little bit of research on it and see what you find. You know, it's interesting to dig around and, and study these things and, and find things out that you didn't know before. Broaden your horizon. So check it out, and I will provide links in my Before It's News article that I'm going to do on this. And the link to my article on Before It's News about this will eventually be placed in the About section here on my YouTube channel. Thank you.